Well, hello everyone. It is your amazing host, right? Flipping here. It is Team Rarai. And how is everyone doing on a Saturday's edition? I am doing splendid. It is a very crappy day outside. Currently, it is raining. We really need some rain in this area. Follow me on TikTok right now until it bans or whatever. I might go to a different app. But anyway, follow me there. Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own personal Facebook page. All the information will be down below. Thank you very much. Now it is time to discuss the rest of the news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some and eat, grab some and drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions. And the subject, and of course, the article will be down below. Let's get into this. Now, probably a lot of you know that W is planning on moving Hell in a Cell pay-per-view coming up very, very shortly. Okay. The pay-per-view event for the rest of 2020 was recently made public and has note the company has no plans event list for the month of October. Appear from the NXT TakeOver live from W Network Special. I know I skipped the word. After W Clash of Champions preview this month, the next preview event is scheduled to be the W Hell in a Cell, which is listed on the W pay-per-view schedule. I just skipped that one word. The remaining of the year of for Sunday, November first, twenty twenty. Okay, now you guys can read the rest of it. So I guess I just read this one part. Wrestling Observer Newsletter at F4W Online, the day of W Hell in a Cell has been moved up by one week and will now instead take place on Sunday, October 25th of 2020 instead of November 1st of 2020. They can't make up their freaking minds up. Now, Read the rest of it. I hate Hell on Cell. The paper name is so bogus. I love how it's just called Unforgiven, Backlash, Judgment Day. Those are unique pay per view names. Now, for some stupid reason, you have like gimmick, um, gimmick uh, matches for your pay per views. That is so lame, so stupid, and nothing is the stage. It is so dumb. They don't change it at all. They don't put no effort. They just leave it as it is. Like for pay per views, are the same thing for Raw and SmackDown. They don't put no effort or what? I know it costs money, and I know they they did a lot of cutbacks the last few years. But still, Raw and SmackDown needs to be changed. I mean, needs to be different from the pay per views. You agree or disagree? Probably they don't put any more effort because no fans in the audience. So why put a lot of effort into it? I know they have this Thunderdome. I don't know if you guys like it or not. Leave a comment down below. Have you uh, even attended it? Not really live, but on your phone or tablet or on your flipping computer. Let me know down below. Now, yesterday, this is something different. I don't know if you guys heard about this. This Manny Rose I have a good chance to meet her, not in person, through the freaking internet. Uh, there's like four four people that shoot four people she will choose. If I don't get picked, I will automatically get a uh, free shirt. So that is awesome. Hopefully, I could meet her. That is nice, you know. So it's like when is it? Okay, here it is. Throw down 
September 26, 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Mandy Rose. It's a Saturday, so yes, I have to pay for it. I don't care. It's only what 40 bucks. It just um, I don't get the expensive package. I'm not gonna spend that much money. So it's nice. I wish it was free, but whatever. Um, because you know, eventually McMahon's gonna shut everyone down with a third party. Hopefully, that is not true. Um, you know. A lot of these wrestlers need to make extra cash because they're on TV or not. I don't know if they're on TV, they get paid more money. I don't know how that works. Another thing is, off the record, speaking of Manny Rose, I guess Manny Rose got traded from SmackDown to Raw. Who did um, um, Raw give up for trade? For me, I think this whole trade thing for WWE is so stupid. They won't be like the NFL. They won't be like the NBA. They won't be like... MLB and they won't be like hockey. It's so stupid, you know. Now I guess they're gonna have um, the WWE draft again for a billion time. It is not gonna work out anymore. Okay, this is twenty twenty going on twenty twenty one. What's the big deal? Just leave it as is. Is it, is it because your current roster is stale, so they want to mix things up? Another thing is, what you think about cousin versus cousin? One of the Uso brothers versus uh, um, Roman Reigns at Clash of Champions coming up. We all know what's going to happen. Roman Reigns will retain it. Probably one of the cousins um, will just lay down like um, Kevin Nash did back in the day of WCW. Or it's going to be like a rip-off version of WCW. I just guarantee it. Or he just might just join forces with Roman Reigns. You never know. I like this heel gimmick of Roman Reigns. Hopefully, W does not drop the ball with this character. I mean, with this heel gimmick. He's awesome. You know? It just makes me upset that he just came back and he's the Universal Champion. That's not right, you know? That's not right. It just remind me of when The Rock, back in 2002, The Vengeance, he came out of nowhere. No, actually, um, he had a match at uh, King of Ring that year. The W decided to put him in a um, triple threat match between himself, uh, the um, Taker and Kurt Angle for Taker's universal, sorry, not universal belt, undisputed belt, and that was it. Taker did not have that belt that long, so whatever. Maybe because the Rock suck up to McMahon, I don't know. So it's the same thing with Roman Reigns, you know. I I don't mind Roman Reigns as a heel, but. Let's see how long this is going to last. And another thing is, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree, I don't think Roman Reigns should have the same music as a, as a face. He should have new music. I know he has new shirt, but whatever. Maybe eventually he will get new music if you're a heel. But that's just me. I love this shirt. Super Mother Brothers. Got this not that long ago from um, GameStop. And that wraps it up. See you guys later on tonight. Peace out for video number two.